Hi guys, if you are a new player in Rainbow Six Siege, the operator selection can be a bit overwhelming at first. So I wanted to give you my take on top 3 operators for beginners in the Rainbow Six Siege. In my top 3s I have used only the base operators that all players have unlocked at the start. There's an honorable mention from the DLC operators to those who have the complete edition. Let's start with the attackers. Coming at third place is Fuse. Fuse is a 1 speed pre armor operator with a cluster charge gadget that is really fun to use. Just find a soft wall, floor, door or window near the objective and bomb the room to bits. The kills with the gadget are few and far between but there's good chance you'll destroy some defender gadgets and spread some havoc to the enemies in the site. Just don't cluster charge rooms with hostage or friendly players. Fuse isn't the most team oriented operator, but every time you hit that detonator, you will distract some defenders and maybe give your team an edge. Fuse's weapons are nothing spectacular, but not bad either. Biggest con for Fuse is that he's a bit slow being one speed, but maybe that's just me being a bit restless so. Coming at second place is Ash. Ash is a 3 speed 1 armor operator, and speed is one of the defining perks of Ash. The other one is her head hitbox. It's small, some might say even broken, all the same her head is hard to hit. Because of these two traits, she's like made for run and gun gameplay. Don't get me wrong, Siege isn't the game that really supports a run and gun playstyle, but for a beginner player with pedigree on that kind of shooters, as may be a good bridge between the two very different games. Ash's role in team is to take out opposing players, so if you die early, it isn't like there's a wall that can't be opened or battery to be destroyed. Her gadget is the M120 Krem with the breaching rounds. These complement the fast and hard to hit Ash, well as with them you can open soft walls, windows or doors from distance, so even those won't slow you down. As a cherry on the top, is the RC4 assault rifle, which is probably one of the best attacker weapons. The biggest con with Ash for beginner player is that she is very popular, so there's a chance that someone else gets her before you do. The best attacking operator for beginners, in my humble opinion, is Sledge. He is 2 speed, 2 armor operator with a breaching hammer called Gaber. Gaber can breach anything that is soft with one swing including walls, floors, barbed wires, operators and more. With practically unlimited breaching capability, Sledge can make his own way through the maps. Just beware, you'll be vulnerable for a moment after the breach before you can draw your weapon again. As with Fuse, Sledge's primary weapons aren't anything spectacular, more in the middle of the road, but he makes that up with an SMG-11 as a secondary weapon that is a beast in close range. Added benefit in having an SMG as secondary is when learning to use an ACOG sight in your primary weapon, since you have an auto fire weapon as backup for close range engagements. As an honorable mention, I have Finka. As a gadget, she has Adrenal Surge, which will give you and your teammates a buff in health, aiming down the search time, reload time, recoil control, and more. Buff lasts for 10 seconds, so use it before you think your team is about to push the objective. And then to the defenders. First up at third place is Jäger. He is a 3 speed, 1 armor with Mickey Mouse ears and a great gun. His gadget, the Active Defense System, or ADS, takes out attacker projectiles like frag and stun grenades. Just plant the ADSs near the doors and windows you think the objective is being attacked from. And your teammates playing at the objective will have much easier time playing there. Just remember that the ADSs have only 3 meter range and can be easily destroyed, so place accordingly. You should have more than enough time to reinforce the needed walls and place the ADSs in the preparation phase, so you are free to focus on the action at action phase. His gun is at par with Ash's rifle, so it's one of the best out there. Placing of the ADSs can be hard to master, but you will learn it by learning the game and the maps. 
Speaking of easy to learn but hard to master, placing the Capcom's entry denial devices or EDDs are just that. Coming at second place, Capcan is a two-speed, two-armor trapper operator with five EDD traps that can be placed in door and window frames. Knowing the high traffic areas near the objective will help with the efficient use of the traps, but there is value in the traps placed in more random too. Time frame is a little bit tighter than with Jaeger, but you should be able to set all your traps in the preparation phase. The EDDs will take about half of the attacker's health, depending on the attacker's armor rating. Capcan's SMG is a good balanced weapon, although I'm not a big fan of the Spetsnaz sights, excluding the Aegok sight that the attackers have. In the first place we have Rook. As with all the defender operators I have in my list, Rook's gadget is one that you can place at the beginning of the round, and that's it. As the preparation phase starts, you just drop the armor pack and take one yourself. At this point you have helped your team massively, since with an armor plate your teammates will endure one to three bullets more and will be guaranteed a downed but not out state when out of health. Unless it's a headshot. Those will always take you out with one hit. The way Rook's gadget plays isn't the flashiest and rarely the teammate that clutch with 5 HP will be like I was only able to do this with the support from my Rook player. Although that's how it might be. Since Rook is a one-speed three-armor operator, he's mainly played on site and being one of the few defenders able to use the Aegok site, he is best utilized holding long tight angles. Rook isn't the most exciting operator and that's actually a good thing for newer players, since he's usually available. And by the way, Rook has the highest win rate of all the defenders at the moment. As a defender honorable mention I have Alibi, her gadget is the Prisma. She can deploy three hologram copies of herself to distract the attackers, and if an attacker shoots or walks through one, he or she will be pinged for five seconds showing the attacker's location for all the defenders. So there's my top trees with some honorable mentions. If you are a beginner, try these out, but don't limit yourself to these, they are all worth trying. I would like to see some top trees from you guys in the comments below. I hope you learned something from this video or at least were entertained. If you liked the video, please show it by leaving a like and if you like my take on to games, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, see you later.